Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and today I want to share with you this news story that I found recently that I thought was really encouraging for the future of 3D printing, the concept of 3D printing beyond what we usually do in our homes and garages and workshops and things like that. And I'm talking about 3D printed housing. Now, even though that concept is not new and its actual application in the real world is not new, some people do live in 3D printed houses. But what I really like is what this particular company is doing in terms of the target audience for these particular houses. So let me share with you some information about it. So the company in question is called Hive Assembled. And here on their webpage, they have a couple of looping videos to just show you how they are printing these houses using concrete. And as you can look at this here in the beginning stages, you go like, oh man, look at all those layered lines. And I wonder, did you dry your concrete before you tried printing it? And the jokes go on and on and on. But what I like about what they're doing is that they are creating houses that are meant to be more affordable. So it's an affordable housing initiative. And before I go even further with this, let me just let you know that when I say affordable housing, I'm not talking about the projects, okay? I'm not talking about these buildings with thin walls with bricks on the outside. I'm talking about the 2025 version of affordable housing, which basically means a nice house in a nice neighborhood where the average family of four can live and grow and thrive without having to spend a half a million dollars to do so. So that's what affordable housing means in this regard. But there is this cool story up on 3D printing industry that just sort of breaks this down and make it easier to digest. And this community is gonna be built in Houston, Texas, and they've broken ground on it. And it's called Zuri Gardens. It's gonna be a hybrid home. So it's gonna be 3D printed on the bottom. Like as you see this picture here, the first floor is gonna be 3D printed. And you can kind of see in this artist rendering some of the layer lines here. But then the upper floor is going to be made with more traditional house building methods. So it's going to be a combination of the two. And this particular um, set of homes are going to be priced in 2025 money, fairly affordable for a brand new house that is going to average around 1,360 square feet. And they're going to be priced in the mid to high $200,000 range. And they are going to have two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and a dedicated office space or flexible space and a covered patio. And then people who want to buy it could qualify for up to $125,000 in down payment assistance from the city of Houston. That is quite generous. And if you live in that area or you want to move there or you're curious about this, I'm going to leave a link to right here. This is HoustonTexas.gov for information regarding their affordable home development program. This has information for home buyers over here, and it also has information for developers over on the right side. And the one of the qualifications is the home household adjusted gross income has to be at or below 120% of the area's median income. And they have all the different requirements and resources here for you to check out if you are interested. Now let's take a look at this home here back on Hive Assembled's website. So here are some of the other homes that they've uh, already built or are starting to build but way down here at the bottom that's where you see zuri gardens and you can click on some of these pictures and you know kind of just see what they're working with here you know it is a modest looking house i actually think that this particular design is fairly interesting don't really see like these somewhat thin in the front, you know, kind of like narrow. It's almost whimsical or something, you know, and I like that. And, the, and this is just the community that they have here. They're going to have quite a few homes in this community. Here's just a little mock-up of how it will look from the sky and some of the office spaces. And you can see here on that first floor, you see that construction with those layer lines there. And then it also has its own website for Zuri Gardens, where you can also get some more information about this. They got a couple of different uh, floor plan here. Um, they have the Azizi plan and the Zahara plan, both of which are 1,360 square feet that features 
flood mold and termite resistance. If we go to the Azizi plant here, it says that this particular home will start at $280,000, two stories, everything that I mentioned um, earlier. And first floor is gonna be 3D printed concrete. And then the second floor is from LP structural solutions. And this is some of the more traditional building methods. They have their own uh, materials like this tech shield radiant barrier that blocks up to 97% of the sun's heat. I imagine that's useful in Texas. And it also uses their sub flooring to prevent squeaks and provide a rock solid feel beneath your feet, you know, and just a few more, you know, pictures of how this could ultimately turn out. So I like what they're doing in this regard, because even like where I live, when you go around the neighborhoods, if you look for houses that are on sale, these houses that really are not much bigger than this, if they're even bigger than this at all, they tend to cost, and they're not even new, they tend to cost at least $250,000 these days and up. Typically, it's probably closer to $300,000, to be honest with you. And they've been around for a while, and you don't know what people did to it or how things are falling apart or whatever that you might have to get fixed. So it's great to be able to see something that's brand new, partially using 3D printed technology and being offered to people at a price that is more reasonable. For this day and age especially if they can get some kind of assistance from it but you know what also made this story interesting to me is because it's like a modern version of something that happened a long long time ago and what i am talking about is something from thomas edison so here is a patent that thomas edison filed on august 13th 1908 and it is about the process of constructing concrete buildings so here's just a little synopsis um, here where it says the object of my invention is to construct a building of a cement mixture by single molding operation all its parts including the sides roofs partitions bathtubs floors etc being formed of an integral mass of a cement mixture. So basically what he was going to do was take these molds and it was like over 2000 of these molds, like cast iron, they would have to be assembled together and then concrete would be poured into it. And it would basically just make an entire house, including some of the things on the inside, like the stairs and, and the fireplace and the bathtubs entirely out of concrete. And he was actually successful in some ways, but it ultimately did not take off because it proved to be very complex with all of those different parts that needed to be assembled, used, taken apart, moved, and then done all over again. That was very expensive. And in addition to that, some people didn't really see it as being the affordable housing solution that he envisioned. They kind of looked at it as being kind of... um assembly line everything is the same cheap kind of housing or whatever so it didn't really take off but there are still some homes that were created by methods inspired by this that are still around today and some of them are in the place where i was actually born in gary indiana so we can take a look at some of those right now here are some of these Thomas Edison inspired houses that were partially made using that uh, concrete pouring method. And they are still around. Most of them are still around to this day in this Google Maps image from 2024. Of course, the houses have been painted and some are still around. Some have are, are gone. Some are in better shape than others. But here's basically what they kind of look like here. Here's one example of it. And then here is another example of some dwellings that were made using this method. And then if we go down the street a little bit here, here are some of the other ones here. So you see, they all look kind of the same. I believe it was um, 
probably like around 80 ish or so of these houses that were made. And like I said, most of them still exist to this day, but they're all fabricated being inspired by that method of concrete pouring that was patented by Thomas Edison. And then we fast forward to today and we're seeing some 3D printed houses from concrete and in this case being meant for people making a certain amount of money in the Houston, Texas area. So it's funny how things kind of come around again and 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 with a similar purpose but using different technology. But I thought this was a really interesting story. And uh, if you are interested in the story, I will leave links in the description so you can see the source and the website of this construction company and also to the city of Houston's website to get more information about their affordable housing initiatives there. And uh, hopefully they will last just as long as these Thomas Edison inspired houses here because they've been around for a long, long time and they're still standing. So that's it for now. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.